But first, do you remember this classic soap moment? Nobody gave us a send off, did they? No, I'm sorry for a lie. What's it? Because they didn't really understand. Bet. Correct. Give that girl a coconut. She made them. And as I said, there are so many classic Julie Goodyear moments um, with her playing Bet Lynch and Corey. Now, her husband, um, Scott, has spoken out today about her dementia diagnosis, saying he misses his fun-loving wife, her larger-than-life personality that brightened up everywhere she went, the smile that lit up the room. She, he went on to say, now the lipsticks and makeup go unworn and clothes go unworn, especially the leopard print. Mm. Um, you know, dementia's hard, mm. isn't really it, hard. Today? Isn't it ironic that we've had two of the most loved, huge fictional landladies, Julie Goodyear, Babs Windsor, both mm. married to wonderful men called Scott, both telling the wow. same sad story. Um, and I think it's more... It's not, it's, it's not sadder, but it's more noticeable when you have such huge huge personalities like both Barbara and Julie have had, you notice the decline mm. so much more. And I think that anybody who has, um, who does or has loved somebody with any of the, apparently there are something like 72 forms of dementia. There are so many mm. different, different forms of it. Um, they say that they often mourn, um, oh, this might happen. They say they often mourn the person sometimes years before they've before they've actually yeah, yeah. actually died mm. it's such a horrible horrible um disease and something that i don't think any of us are untouched by mm. no, in our in all. our lives i mean mm. judy you've been through it haven't you yeah my mum unfortunately um had dementia and passed away from dementia and I, honestly it, it took me years up to now still even thinking about it um, because you just, like you said, you lose the person. All, all, the, all the things that we do, like what I do, my face, you see that kind of disappear and, and it's, you just have this show and, and it's so heartbreaking. All the things that you know about them and you love about them, see that them disappear they're and they're gone. And um, there's different things in dementia. With my mum, you know, there was a period where she, um, she's just stopped talking. So I didn't hear my mum's voice for at least a couple of months before she passed away, and that really, really hurt me. And then, you know, there was a period where she, she got to the end where she stopped eating, and that is dementia. There's different phases, yes. not to scare anybody. I, yeah. You know, if anyone's going through this, I'm really not trying to upset you. I'm just, ex like, experiencing and You're telling my what personal you went experience. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it, there's different stages, and people don't really understand that or see. I didn't know... Oh, understand anything about Well, they dementia. think of it like just as Alzheimer's and the loss of memory, but my friend's husband is only 63, has aphasia, aphasia, which is what Bruce Willis has got. Mm. That's more personality changes and loss of speech. Yeah, personality. So the loss of speech, the lack of being able to communicate while still actually quite lucid here, mm. the fact that you're sort of trapped in this body that we're... It's, it, it's, it's awful. When we went through it with my granny, I really identified with what you said about the bereavement starts before the person passes from this world because you, you've lost that person, essentially. And for me, having a faith, I, it really reminded me of, well, actually, the body is not the person, the body is the vessel, and the spirit and the soul is what actually is the person. And if you have some other higher belief, you kind of seek comfort and reassurance in that. Mm. Spirit and soul is eternal and it's gone on to somewhere else. I definitely I I agree with you with that. I felt like after my mum passed away, you know, seeing that transition and, you know, those few months and that, that week she was passing, mm. you know, and, and you just think to yourself, all of this, all of the personality, we can sometimes get so consumed by the physicality, but actually it's the spirit and, yeah. and that person leaves. And then what, what keeps me, like what you were saying to me this morning, is that that spirit of her is always there and yeah. some of it it's is in me. Yeah. But, you know, dementia is... It, it was very a very, sad. very painful thing for me and anybody that's going through it or having to mm. care for someone, I really, really feel for you because yeah. it is a really hard... Thank God got that, that there's network. so much research being done into it as well because they do seem to be... Every day we read something about mm. that they seem to be moving closer yeah. with at least 
some kind of drugs that are, you know, being being trialled quite successfully. Yeah. Have you heard about the tips? I started doing reformer Pilates, a lot of balance, mm. a lot of core, and my teacher told me that you should try to use your non-dominant hand. So if you're always cleaning your teeth with the right hand, try and use the left every other day because it's creating different pathways oh, in the brain right. to, okay. to think differently. And also uh, balancing on one leg when you're cleaning your teeth because that, that balance is engaging different parts of the brain. And, oh, and, interesting. and but your teacher has, has experience because she knows somebody that has dementia doesn't she? My teacher? Yeah. Um, possibly, yeah. I yeah. think she had someone that had gone through it in yeah. her family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. so I, get, I wouldn't have thought of doing that at all. I wouldn't have. Yeah. Start working your brain. But it makes sense, doesn't it? To start yeah. using those muscles that you don't normally... That you don't normally muscle. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's hard. It's but one of my best friends, her mum is going through it, and I think the most difficult thing for the family is seeing someone who had this huge personality that shone up, you know, shone in a room, mm -hmm. lit up a room, um, suddenly sort of diminish. And when I last um, saw her, when I took um, Alfie to go and see her, she was just really quietly sitting by the table. And that's not a woman that I recognise in the 20 years that I've known her. Yeah. And it is quite hard for them to live with mm -hmm. that every day. So as Judy said, you know, if you're... If you're going through it at the moment, we know it's 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 hard. It, it is it is difficult. So we are thinking of you, um, especially, yeah, especially um, to both Scots, of course, and and to Julie.